well, but how will these cues impact our own markets? We have a research team joining in to tell you just that. What's the trade setup looking like? The stocks that will be in the news and the action from the FNO space as well. Hey guys, a very good morning to both of you. Uh, Sudarshan, let me come across to you first up. Uh, a lot of cues that we have to look out for. Morning, Sunil. Well, it, it looks like all the money is moving just in one direction. And it's not equities, it's cryptos. The leading crypto, Bitcoin, is at a record high and is now trading above, above $72,000 for the very first time. On equities front, it's all calm ahead of the inflation data. US markets saw a trade in a range with largely a negative bias. But we can't say the same for our market. It was a weak day of trade on Monday. All the sectoral indices posted losses with metals, media and PSU bank falling the most. Headline indices too saw a fall in line with all the sectoral indices. Nifty, which was at, re at a record high in the opening trade, closed at days low. But major weakness was seen in the banking space and that led to Nifty Bank closing with a cut of more than 1% and except AU Small Fin Bank, all its constituents closed in the red with ICICI Bank, HDFC and SBI being top drags. And for today too, GIF Nifty is indicating a subdued start. On institutional front, we had buy numbers from both FIs and DIs, but it was largely because of Indigo block days. Lastly, in the queues to watch, we have US CPI for the month of February. Estimate is at 3.1% year on year and 0.3% month on month. We have India CPI for February. CNBC TV18 poll estimates 5.12%, which is unchanged against January print. And lastly, IIP for January, CNBC TV18 poll estimates growth of 4% against 3.8% in December 2023. Okay, a lot of macro data that we'll be watching out for. Thank you, Sudarshan. Uh, for the gist, uh, but let's talk about the stocks that will be in focus as well. Mamakshi is joining us with that list now. Hey, good morning, Mamakshi. Hi, good morning, Sona. Let me first uh, start off with ITC. Now, a report from Bloomberg is suggesting that British American Tobacco or BAT is planning on launching ITC share sale as soon as this week. They're planning to offload stake in ITC worth almost two to three billion dollars. So definitely, that will be an important uh, stock to watch out for. But other than that, also focus in on Indigo. Uh, this is a CNBC TV18 news break confirmed. Block deal data uh, shows that Rakesh Kangwal, who's the promoter of Indigo, sold. 5.8% equity for 6,785 crores. Now, the average price for this block deal is at 3,015 rupees per share, which surpasses the floor price by almost 3%. Now, post this stake sale, Rakesh Gangwal now holds 19.2% stake in the company. And in fact, Morgan Stanley Asia was one of the buyers in the block deal. Apart from that, keep an eye out on Aurobindo Pharma. Its ARM APL Healthcare's formulation manufacturing facility in Andhra Pradesh has received the WHO GMP approval. Aditya Birla Capital is another the one that we will be watching out for and that is because the company has announced the merger of its wholly owned subsidiary Aditya Birla Finance with itself and this has been done in order to comply with RBI's mandate on scale based regulations. HIL is the next one in focus after the company has signed an agreement with Crestia Polytech for the acquisition of Topline which is a popular brand of pipes and fittings and this has been done at an enterprise value of 265 crores and in fact the company is also expected to acquire Crestia's fully, uh, four wholly owned subsidiaries as well. What Watch out for Wokard as well. A European Journal reports case where uh, WCK 5222 uh, was used successfully. And lastly, let's also focus in on RVNL. It has emerged as the lowest bidder for two projects worth almost 47 crore and 339 crores. Okay, all right. Thank you so much, Mahamakshi, for joining us with that list. Uh, let's do one thing. Let's go across to Nigel now. He's joining in all the queues from the FNO space this morning. Hey, Nigel. Well, yesterday, actually, Sonal was, wasn't a great trading session. We ended at the low point of the day, but no big fear, actually, in terms of flows. It appears more that there was some unwinding of positions, you know, on the headline index itself. So the Nifty and the Nifty Bank, both of them had unwinding of positions. What are the, how are the FIS positions? Well, 59% of their positions are on the short side. And in terms of contracts, the net short contracts are at around 35,000 contracts. So no extreme of any sort on the net short positioning. On the Nifty options uh, data, the call writers are feeling good. 22,500 call, 22,400 call, the aggressive writing being seen out there. Between both those two strikes, there are more than 70 lakh shares getting added there. So the bears are feeling that they can have this covered at around 22,500, 22,550. And even after this aggressive call writing, the PCR is still a distance from that bottoming out process. Because normally we say that the PCR bottoms out at around that 0 0.65, 0 0.7. That's where you see a bit of a bounce. It's still some distance because it's at around 0.94 odd. The nifty levels are to track. 
Support is added on the 22,000 odd mark. If you're looking at a near-term support, well, you'll want to pull in the 20 DMA, which is added on 22,150, while resistance comes in at around 22,560. Last few sessions, we have gone to 22,500 odd, but we couldn't conquer that mark. And I pointed out 22,560 because the 22,500 call premium yesterday was at around 60 rupees odd. Two stocks I'm going to be tracking very closely. ITC, there's that overhang with regard to how much BAT wants to sell and by well they want to sell. So that's going to be an overhang on the stock. So that could be one of the stocks that will drag. It has only around 4% weightage on the index, but keep an eye out on that one. And Reliance Industries, what we have been seeing in the last 12 months or so is that when the bulls are in trouble, they turn to Reliance Industries. The weightage on the index is around 10%. So let's see at some point of time if you get that dip, whether or not Reliance comes in there. And again, bats for the bulls. Back to you. Okay, all right. Thank you guys for joining us. So that is the trade setup for the day.